Hey, it's me, GB. Uh, hey, it's me, GB. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fallout 3. If you're enjoying the series, leave in likes, comments, subscribe to the bell turned on. It all helps out this series to grow. Thank you to those who do that. And consider becoming a patron over on Patreon. Um, those people have done a lot for me. Thank you if you're one of those people. And thank you for supporting me in any way, shape, or form. Welcome back to Fallout 3. <gasps> Let's get right in. I know we're going very slow with this um, series. Uh, I just want to record Elden Ring, man. It's like the thing of you just got to record what you really want to record. And Fallout 3 has been out for a long time. Skyrim's been out for a long time. Elden Ring is brand spanking new. You know what I mean? So hopefully we'll get back into these uh, series, Skyrim and Fallout 3, a little bit more consistently. But, yeah, it's just like, you know, a new, new flashy game that I'm a huge fan of. Again, I have my only tattoo on my body is of the Soulsborne series. Kind of a huge fan, but I digress. Anyways, we are exploring the underworld where there's a lot of different things to do and see and people to talk to and stuff. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Who do we have here? You, Quinn. Oh, why, hello there. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Quinn. Hi. What? You're not going to tell me how rare it is to see a human in Underworld? Me? No, not at all. I'm used to your people. Truth is, I spend most of my time away from Underworld. Nice to meet you, Quinn. <laughs> oh god, I'm out of here. You too, stranger. I know a lot of people around here don't take kindly to humans wandering around, but I've met a lot of your people in my travels. Is the Lincoln Memorial around here somewhere? Yeah, just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. That might be where we want to take all that Lincoln stuff. I know that seems obvious, but I genuinely don't remember who gives you the Lincoln quest to get all of the Lincoln stuff that we already have. Uh, but yeah, the Lincoln Memorial is a visitable place in this game, obviously. Okay, bye, Quinn. Bye. I don't know what the point of talking to him was, but okay. We've got Underworld <laughs> Resident, which is how Fallout tells you that you can't talk to that person. We've got Cerberus. That's <laughs> Civilian on deck. Hello there. Uh, I don't remember the deal with Cerberus at all, but it makes sense now because he's a three-headed guard thing, which Cerberus is like a three-headed dog that guards Tartarus in hell in Greek mythology, right? So what are you, the guard dog? I am Cerberus. It is my solemn duty to guard the citizens of Underworld against any and all threats, both foreign and domestic. So yes, I'm the guard dog. It's good to know what you are. Uh, what can you tell me about Underworld? This is a town full of peace-loving ghouls, so check your bigotry at the door. They're just like humans. They feel, they hurt, they bleed. They deserve the same love and respect as any human, and don't you forget it. At least that's what they programmed me to say. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I think they're a bunch of rotting zombie maggot farms, and I'd send them all back to hell if I could. Damn this combat inhibitor! Oh, so you can probably reprogram the combat inhibitor, I'm betting. I don't actually know. Again, most of this stuff I've forgotten completely. Uh, you ever go outside Cerberus into the wasteland? Negatory. I have been programmed to remain on premises at all times. In the event of hostilities, I will respond with deadly force. Go, Underworld! Go, ghouls! Go, ghouls! Damn this pansy zombie programming. <laughs> Uh, okay. I have to go now. Resuming patrol. I don't know if you can get Cerberus as a companion or not. Again, a lot of the stuff I've completely forgotten. Okay, so yeah, let's just talk to everybody. We'll explore the bathroom and see if there's maybe a patchwork? Who's patchwork? Uh, see if there's maybe a uh, first aid kit. But yeah, they usually don't put them, I've noticed, in like towns and stuff. Uh, let's talk to Patchwork. I don't remember him whatsoever. don't remember Quinn either or Cerberus. I remember a couple of NPCs here. Huh? Ah! Jesus Christ! Don't, don't sneak up on me like that. Last fella, last fella to do that damn near lost my arm. You're new here, yeah. You must be since you're actually talking to, talking to me. I'm Patchwork. They're just patches if you like that. I'm, shit. I forget. Okay, uh, are you alright, buddy? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I guess. No. Yeah. I'll be okay. I just... I just need to try not to lose any more of my parts this time. And Doc Barrows says that he's... He's getting tired of putting them back on me. So, you know. 
If you see any, just bring them back. Okay, is that an actual quest? Because if so, I don't remember. You're disgusting. You be careful. I don't want you hurting yourself. You sure? Some, some people make me hurt myself. Because uh, it makes them laugh. No, I mean, I understand it's kind of darkly humorous in this world that a man like you would be losing his limbs and stuff, but no, I don't want you to hurt yourself. Uh, what can you tell me about Underworld? What can you tell me about? Wait, wait what? what? Where can I get a drink around here? You seem like the right person to ask. Why, well, you want to head on over to the Ninth Circle and talk to Mr. Azrakal. He... He, uh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the generators. I don't know where they are. You'll have to ask Winthrop. Oh, okay. Why can I ask him about this again? Ninth sir, Circle. Talk to Azrakal. And bring me back something. Oh, yeah, the generator. Right. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not going to bring you back something. I think you need to sober up patchwork, to be honest with you. I have to go now. See you later. <clears throat> Goodbye. Hey, yeah, it definitely does seem like the town drunk. Okay, underworld resident. Yeah. Underworld resident. We've got a big old statue there of a bunch of ghouls. I wonder if that's based on something real or not. Uh, what do we have back over here? Ooh, 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 ooh. Got some interesting stuff. Okay, let's close that and get some privacy here. We've got a desk, like I said, I think Cobalt would check things out, although not steel, although that 5.56 five, uh, ammo would be helpful. We've got a hollow tape. You have already a copy of this hollow tape. We have Winthrop's terminal with an average lock. Let's see if we can break into this. We've got structure, which has two out of nine. Stura, stura, katura. Uh, that's one. Sister, uh, sister, uh, cannot be that. Sister, uh, T U R E. Could be this. Searching is four out of nine. Okay. S E A R C H I N G. Oh, it can't be anything with the I N G suffix, right? Uh,. Although, I mean, it can be. Sir, S-E-A, cannot be that, no. S-E-A-R-C-H-I-N-G, could be this? Oh, come on now. Okay, let's try to find the syntax then. Let's see. Oh, that was a large one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, what was the last one? Swiveling was five out of nine. What is it gonna be? Swiveling. It's got to be something with an ing. Swiveling cannot be that. Swiveling cannot be that. It's got to be this. Yeah. Okay. It's, I know I keep saying this, but it feels so freaking good to logic that stuff out after spending so much time just, you know, hammering it away. Welcome, Winthrop. Notes on the electrical system. Junction AA76 needs a new fuse box. AA84 leaking air. AB36 relay fan busted. AB40 this one is just effed. Reroute. AC-22 possibly on fire. Check it out later. AC-67 something stinks. A mole rat. AC-88 missing parts. All of them. Okay, and then we can unlock the safe, which we'll do. Although, again, I'm not going to steal. Don't worry. You don't have to give me negative karma. I'm just checking things out. That's all. Uh, nothing unique there. Just going to take a look. That's it. I think uh, Cobalt's just a little bit curious. That's all. Okay, moving right along. Oh, yeah. The Chop Shop. Let's go check out the Chop Shop. Hey. Dr. Barrows. Hi, how's it going? What do you have here? Note added a free man, a new yes, man. That's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Wow, that's never been as accurate as that. Oh, completed search for clues about Zimmer's missing Android. Look at that. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and Can you access this while she's working on it? What do we have here? Crazy. One out of five. Crazy. Could be that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, hopefully I don't get mad here. I'm still hidden. Examination of the post-necrotic human, which does nothing. Neurology of luminous necrotic post-human. Study of ferocious post-necrotic something. Okay, that seems glitched. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to that hollow tape. A free man, a new man. Despite the harshness of the wasteland, I've discovered in more than a few here a compassion that is unheard of in the Commonwealth. 
Perhaps it's the daily struggle for life here which gives appreciation for life in general, whether human or android. In a few days, I'll be a free man, a new man. Let me say thank you now for referring me to Pinkerton at Rivet City, because I will not remember any of this soon. Okay. Yes. Hello. Dr. Barrows at your service. What brings you to the chop shop? Come to lend me a hand, I hope. I can always use fresh human samples. What is... yeah, what, what does that mean? You haven't heard? I'm the foremost authority on ghoul evolution. I want to know what makes us tick. Something doomed us to this rotting form, and I aim to discover what it is. So, I need samples of human skin, organs, and other parts to make the experiments valid. I don't remember that whatsoever. Uh, sorry, I aim to keep all my samples to myself. Pity. Well then, what can I do for you? Well, uh, I'm hurt. I need help, Doc. Yeah, you could do with some work. It'll set you back 75 caps, but well worth it. Is it well worth it? I, I think I can literally just go into the other room and use the bed for free. On second thought, I'll be fine. Suit yourself. Okay, can you heal my radiation? I need medical supplies. I do need medical supplies. I think I can help you out. Thank you. Okay, he's got 32 stim packs. That is not bad at all. What do we have that we can trade for this? Uh, I guess we'll get rid of anything that we do not need. We don't have any more ammo for the combat shotgun. How much is this even worth? 0. 0.2 caps? <laughs> Uh, yeah, all right, uh, we'll get rid of the, uh, we'll keep those, okay, you and, uh, these are helpful, we'll keep that, minigun, missile launcher, pulse grenades, we'll get rid of those, vampire's edge, the assault rifle, what do we have here, want to keep all of that, oh, Lincoln's hat is actually wearable, in plus one and speech plus five, huh, didn't realize that, aid, uh, yeah, we can get rid of the drugs, medex, mentats, we'll keep five, actually, we'll keep two, Nuka Cola, Quantum Psycho, Radex, Radaway, right Stealth Boy, Stimpax, Sugar Bombs. Okay, now how much can we get of these? Let's try like 10. What's that going to set us back? 118 caps. Okay, what if we do all of these? 900? I think that's worth it. I'll accept. Thank you. Another satisfied customer. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, see you. Okay, we got to remember to use the bed though. Let's talk to Nurse Graves. Welcome to the chop shop. I'm Nurse Graves, Dr. Borrow's assistant. Don't let our place's name fool you. The doctor is very good with injuries, dismemberments, and trauma. If you require any stim packs or blood packs, let me know. Uh, I'm injured. Anything you can do for me? Certainly we can help you. Please speak to Dr. Borrow's. Oh, and we only take caps. No barter. I was hoping you'd be able to give me a deal, but okay, that's fine. Uh, we've got Riley. Oh, what the heck? There's no response from Riley. She appears to be in some sort of coma. I did not remember that she was here. I'm afraid she's going to be out for a while. She's not well at all. Don't worry, though. I'm sure the rest of Riley's rangers will show up soon and take her home. I, I did completely forgot this quest was started here. Uh, Riley's rangers? Oh, you must be new around here. They're a mercenary company that bases itself out of the DC ruins. I'm assuming she's their leader, Riley. What was left of her armor had her name stenciled on it. She was in a pretty bad way when they found her outside Underworld. I'd really like to speak to this woman. Please, wake her now. Oh, very well. I'll do what I can. I just hope her body can withstand the strain. Humans are so fragile. Yeah, that was not uh, probably a good idea to wake her up while she's in a coma, but okay. Especially when drugs are involved. Where are you applying that, Doctor, into her ankle? What? Where am I? What happened? I don't know, it's How been a while. I've been out? It's been a while since I've done this quest, Riley. Uh, I do remember this being one of the major ones, though. Uh, not long, fortunately. Right. Can't remember what I was doing. Wait! Oh, shit! My men! My team! What happened to them? Uh, I don't think you're in any condition to be up and about. That's not the way I do things. Do you have any idea what it would do to my reputation if word got around that Riley of Riley's Rangers was laid up in a hospital bed? Uh, Riley's Rangers, huh? Never heard of you. 
You've been stuck living in a vault the last decade or something? Yes. We're Guns for Hire, the best Merc group in the Capital Wasteland. If you need something done in there, you seek us out. So, what's this about needing help? Tell me the whole story. We were mapping the Vernon Square part of the downtown ruins and got jumped by a super mutant ambush party. Usually it isn't a problem, but this group was bigger than usual. We fought our way into Our Lady of Hope Hospital, hoping to find cover. Let me guess, more super mutants inside. You got it. More of the ugly bastards just kept coming. We fought our way to the roof and found a way across to the Statesman Hotel next door. The super mutants seemed driven, like they smelled blood. They kept following us. Once in the hotel, the only way to go was up. Bad move, I'm guessing. Very bad move, but we had no choice. On the way, we lost Theo, one of my guys. We were unable to get the ammo case off of his body as we were pushed onwards. So, guns almost dry, we hit the roof of the Statesman. Did you set any kind of traps or mines? Actually, we did lay down a bunch of countermeasures. I don't know how many of them have already gone off, though. When I slipped out with my stealth boy, I think I almost tripped one or two of them. Damn near didn't make it out of there at all, come to think of it. What did you need from me? Get the rangers home. Please. That's all I want. I don't care how you do it. Well, what are you... Yeah, what's in it for me if I risk my neck for you? Spoken like a merc. You sound like me when I was just a kid starting out in the business. Okay, Hotshot, how about a full suit of ranger armor? It's the best combat armor in the wasteland. Or if that doesn't do it for you, I'll set you up with a minigun from our armory. Either way, you walk away with something. Now you're speaking my language. I'll do it. Whew. I was holding my breath on that one, I think. I wasn't sure what you were going to say. All I ask is that you hurry. I don't know how much longer they will be able to survive up there. I also recommend you try and find the body of Theo, one of my men. He was carrying our main ammo supply. Here, let me punch the ammo box code in some better directions into your pit boy there. Thank you. Wow, yeah, one of the only times I've ever been excited to get a, uh, a heavy weapon as a reward. Okay, Riley's Ranger is one of the big quests, and I totally forgot, like I said, that it was started here at Underworld. Uh, can you think of anything that'll help me get there? We have a headquarters not far from here. If you can make it there, you're welcome to anything you need inside. Just punch in Riley0247 at the gate. We have ammo, supplies, you name it. Okay, will do. What can you tell me about Vernon Square? If I wasn't asking for your help, I'd tell you to stay away. It's thick with super mutants. I don't know why. Butcher, our team medic, has always suspected something's in the area they are looking for or being attracted to. The only place worse I can think of is the mall. And I don't remember what they're actually looking for. How can I get there from Underworld? Your best bet is to stay with the Metro Tunnels. Head north from here to Metro Central. Then look for the tunnels to the DuPont Circle Station. Exit from the DuPont Circle Station into what we call the Dry Sewers, and eventually you'll wind up in Our Lady of Hope Hospital. Okay. Thank you. Uh, any good news about the area? Not much, I'm afraid. Oh, wait. The hospital may have some supplies that will help you. We saw some storerooms on the way to the roof, but didn't have time to raid them. Yeah, lots and lots and lots of info. This quest is very uh, meticulous, uh, which I like a lot. Let me ask you about something else. Okay, go ahead. How did all this happen, Riley? We were mapping the Vernon Square part of the downtown ruins and got jumped by a super mutant ambush party. Usually it isn't a problem, but this group was bigger than usual. We fought our way into Our Lady of Hope Hospital, hoping to find cover. Eventually, the fight spilled into the Statesman Hotel, and we ran all the way to the roof. I left my guys up there and tried to stealth out, but got caught by a muty ambush patrol. That was the last thing I remember. Wow, you're just gonna admit you just totally abandoned them, huh? Tell me more about Riley's Rangers. There's five of us. Oh wait, four now. I almost forgot about Theo. Poor bastard. Besides myself, of course, we have Brick, our heavy weapon specialist, Butcher, our medic, and Donovan, our tech. All of them have been with me for years. I trust any of them with my life. Uh, where is Theo's body? We lost him on one of the stairwells on the second floor of the Statesman Hotel. He almost made it, but one of the muties hit us with a frag grenade. Blew him apart. If you can get to his ammo crate, there's a ton of rounds inside. 
Bring as many as you can to the Rangers. Okay, I will. How do I know they're still alive? Before I left, I gave them an order to keep broadcasting for help over their radio. Hopefully, when you get near their location, you'll pick it up. Okay, let me ask you about something else. Okay, looks like we got everything. I have to go now. Careful out there. Thank you. I will do my best. Can I use this bed? Oh, come on. The least you could do is let me use the bed. Search Feral Ghoul with some bottle caps, which we'll take. Glad they don't consider that stealing. Uh, yeah, that's one of the bigger quests in the game, so I'm excited to do that one. But we will first fully explore the rest of the underworld. So let's see what we have on this wall over here. Underworld Outfitters. We got a bit of a shop, it looks like. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, definitely not thinking of breaking into Tulip's Terminal with a very easy lock. Or very easy password here. We've got Think. Easy freaking peasy. Sten O Pool 3500 Word Processing System. Current user Tulip. Current document Paradise Lost Transcript. Paradise Lost Book 1. Uh, is this actually just Paradise Lost? Because I'm not going to read the whole thing if that's the case. Because Paradise Lost was made by Dante, right? And is the prequel to Dante's Inferno, I think. Which is obviously what a lot of Underworld is based on here in terms of the mythology. I think. Looks like she's missing one, two, yeah, book three. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, yeah, book three, and then five through seven, from what I can tell. Forget if there's an actual quest to maybe get some of these. Okay, you've lost karma. Yeah, so says you. What do we have here? Quinn again? Oh, Quinn's like a mercenary? Sorry, sorry. No, you're fine. Bye. Okay, who is this? Tula. Hey. Hi. Oh, a human. Well, hello. Welcome to Underworld Outfitters. It's... It's been so long since I had a customer. Hi! Uh, what do you do with the money you make down here? Well, we spend it at Carol's, or the Ninth Circle. But I don't like it there. The rest we give to Quinn to trade for stuff we need whenever he goes out. I was wondering what the point of Quinn was. Do you know anything about Underworld? Well, yeah, there's a lot of old pamphlets and stuff down here. I've pretty much read it all. What was this place before the ghouls moved in? It used to be part of the Museum of History. The exhibit that used to be here was focused on what happens after death. Hell and whatnot. A lot of it was focused on this old book called Paradise Lost. It's about a guy who goes to hell. Pretty interesting stuff. I found a big box of copies of the book in one of the back rooms. Here, take one. Nobody around here wants them. Thank you. Paradise Lost added. How did all the ghouls end up here? At first, it was just a couple people after the war. This was one of the only places that wasn't falling down or on fire after the bombs fell. I think that Carol is actually one of the few that were here then. But over the years, word got around. There had been ghouls living in little pockets all around. Not really so much anymore. Most of them either went feral or ended up here. I'm sure there are still a few out there, but anyone with any sense is in Underworld. The male and female ghoul voices are so good, and I wonder, I think I've asked this before, but I wonder if they're modulated at all, because they're, they're so perfectly raspy. Isn't it dangerous being this deep into the city? Not really. The super mutants leave us alone. I guess whatever they do that turns people like them doesn't work on us. The Brotherhood of Steel will fire on us if we're out in the open, but they don't bother us down here. We've had some raiders and slavers poke their heads in, but we've got Sharon and Cerberus and everyone else to take care of them. I guess when it comes down to it, being this far out of everyone's way is a good deal for us. I think it's supposed to be pronounced Charon, at least as far as I've heard. Uh, because it's based off the, obviously, the thing that, the, the entity that navigates the river sticks. That's all I needed to know. Come back any time. It's kind of lonely down here. I understand. Uh, let me see what you have for sale. Sure thing, human. What does Tulip have for sale? Bunch of ammo, which we could definitely use this. Wow, that's a lot of five millimeter rounds. Holy crap. Uh, advanced radiation suit, assault rifle. 
Let's just check in for anything that is unique here. Mini guns. Ooh, with decent, uh, decent, uh, 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 condition. Ripper schematics for the railway rifle. Stim packs. Okay, how much for all of this? Five millimeter ammo. Can I buy perhaps all 705? 705 caps? Is it worth it? Let's see. Do we have anything else to trade? Maybe we just trade everything. We'll trade five frag mines. Yeah, let's just kind of... Because that's a lot of caps to spend on this. Uh, apparel, aid. I don't think we have any more aid, right? Do we have any misc? Let's see here. Carton of cigarettes. Oh, yeah. I forgot that we have these to barter. It's so weird never bartering and understanding now that that's the whole point of, like, the carton of cigarettes and stuff to barter with. I just never played like that, which I know is bizarre. Metro ticket off. Okay. Pack of cigarettes. And then pre- Oh, I, just, I should just have the pre-war money on hand at all times. See, yeah. I'm just, I haven't played this game in the way that, like, I play these games so bizarre and I understand that I do. Uh, okay. Except... So yeah, we got a ton of rounds there for only 200 caps now. Give That's me a awesome. shout if you need anything else. I have to go now. Come back soon, please. Oh, okay. A little, little, uh, little bit uh, pushy, I'll be honest with you. There's some sugar bombs there, but we're not going to steal them. Everything we got Winthrop, who we've talked to. We got Quinn. Awesome. What else is on this bottom floor? Oh yeah, I wanted to check the beds over here to see if we can utilize them, perhaps. Uh, come on, man. Really? That's surprising to me that they don't let us use that. Okay, so that's done. Terrible air down here. Winthrop, now let's go check the upstairs where we have the ninth circle of hell, which is a bar, I believe. We'll save that for last, though. Uh, do we have anything in here? What is over here? Again, the ninth circle. So this must be Carol's place. And called it macaroni. Okay, so we just got to check out Carol's place and the Ninth Circle. Then we're done exploring all of Underworld. <laughs> Cannot pay attention with Three Dog shrieking. Okay, what do we have here? We've got Greta and we've got Carol. What else? Anything like on the table? No. Uh, let's talk to Greta. Hey there. Hi! Sorry, I'm on a break. I'll be back in a bit if you need some food. Okay, that's kind of weird. What time is it? It's 6.28 a.m., so let's wait like four, five, six hours so that hopefully people are doing their normal stuff. We can get all this uh, dialogue absorbed. Okay, hello. If you want something to eat, you should order it quick, hon. The stew just stopped moving. That's disgusting. What do you know about Underworld? To tell you the truth, hon, I don't really know much about it. All I know is that it used to be some sort of exhibit. Something about hell or the afterlife or something. Tulip knows that sort of stuff. Not like anyone around here ever buys anything from that shop of hers. I just stimulated the economy over there, so I don't know what you're talking about. What's on the menu? Yep. Get it while it's lukewarm. Gross. Uh, yeah, just a whole bunch of disgusting stuff. Although some sugar bombs, which I guess we'll buy. Thank you. Another satisfied customer. I have to go now. What? Not full yet? I mean, I'm... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. Thank you, though. Hello, Carol. Yeah, what is it? Oh. Oh, my. Someone new. I'm, I'm so sorry. You must think I'm terribly rude. Welcome. Welcome to Carol's place. I'm Carol. It's not much, I know, but it's mine. So if you need anything, just let me know. Greta will get you any food you want, and I handle the rooms. Oh, yeah. I forgot. It's so good to have someone new here. Even if it is an ugly old smooth skin. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't make that face. You'll love it here. Okay. Uh, have you ever heard of a guy named Gob who was the ghoul over at Moriarty's in Megaton? Gob? Yes, of course. He's my son. Well, not really. Not like you would think of a son. We ghouls don't really work like that, but I love him like he's my own. Do you know him? Have you seen him? Is he all right? Uh, he, <laughs> I think he might be a slave. He's working in a bar in Megaton. Oh, that's wonderful news. I'm so 
glad. If you see him, please tell him that his mother misses him and loves him and that I hope he's happy. But he shouldn't come visit. It's too dangerous. No, no, he should stay put where he is. Yeah, I agree. That's a very dangerous trek. You run this place with Greta? That's right. Her and I have been together for, oh, about 60 years now. But things haven't really been the same since Gob left. He was like a son to me. I think Greta was always a little jealous of him. I always think it's really cool when they represent other types of relationships in these games at this time. Because I feel like just when this game came out, like, very few game devs... Uh, actually did that, and I remember I was like, I think Carol and Greta are canonically together. Uh, how did you end up here? Oh, that's such a long story. You couldn't possibly want to hear about that. I do. I'd love to hear your story, Carol. Well, okay. But it's nothing special. I was born in 2051, so yes, that makes me a pre-war ghoul. Do you remember the day the war started? I do. I was in a shelter with my father when the bombs hit. In D.C., we had the luxury of getting a warning after the West Coast was... gone. I was just a little girl then. We couldn't afford a space in one of the vaults. I remember filing down into that shelter, my father rushing me in. He stopped to help this one family. And I looked up and called his name. There was a flash of light brighter than anything you can imagine. I woke up a few hours later. The first thing I did was run up to where my father had been. He... he was gone. But the strangest thing... There was his shadow, burned into the wall so crisp and clear, like he was standing next to me. The heat had burned it into the concrete. What was the wasteland like after the war? The city was on fire for weeks, maybe months, I don't know. I hid down here in the museum. It was the closest building to the shelter I was in. But I could hear what was happening above. People howling like animals, chaos, looting, killing. It's like every foul thing inside of them came out. It was a nightmare. I... I don't want to talk about it. God, it's crazy that it's still traumatic after all this time, although I guess we hang on to our trauma, huh? So how did you end up as a ghoul? I don't know how it happens. Dr. Burroughs says it was radiation. All I know is that people kept showing up here in the museum. After things calmed down above ground, we tried to live down here as best we could. After a while, things got strange. My skin started to get dry and flake off. Everyone's did. It took a while. Months, maybe a year. But sooner or later, everyone ended up like this. Some of them went crazy. Some of us just accepted it. After a while, other ghouls would find their way in here and... Underworld just sort of grew. No one bothered us down here. We were happy enough to leave them alone. And once my Greta showed up, it was a good enough life for me. Carol's a really good NPC. Also, I would imagine there's just constant pain living as a ghoul. See, you said you weren't interesting. You tell the same story for 200 years, you'll feel pretty uninteresting too. Fair. <laughs> Uh, what can you tell me about Underworld? I've been here since we founded the town. Before that, well, life out in the wastes wasn't very pleasant for us. But so long as we stay down here, we can live our lives as people, not monsters. I think things are better this way for everyone. Yeah. Uh, how much for a room? No. Oh, 120 caps, I guess. Excuse me? No thanks. Okay, then. What the heck? What is what are, what are, what are you charging, Carol? After all that. Don't let these people get to you. Well, I'm letting you get to me now, Carol, because that is ridiculous. That's a ridiculously high amount of money hey, to pay for a freaking bed. 
All right, that'll be where we end for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as always, I always like, you know, wonder if people like these dialogue-heavy episodes, but the thing is that I really enjoy going through the story. What, what are you playing an RPG for if you don't really breathe in the atmosphere of, of the places, you know what I mean? So it's like, I know some episodes are way too dialogue-heavy, but at the same time, it's like, do I cut all that out and then lose that part of the game and its identity? I don't know. I usually err on the side of keeping everything in. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I really like Underworld and how it represents the ghouls, so hope you do too. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this series, remember leaving likes, comments, subscribe to the bell turned on. All helps out the channel grow. And thank you to my patrons whose names you're about to see. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <gasps>